Okay, what I have here is a Korean ID card. On the back of their cards, they have their fingerprint identified on the, printed on the back of their card. So what I'm going to try and do is make a photocopy of this and take it over to our fingerprint device and see mm -hmm. if it actually works. So as you see, we have the photocopied fingerprint on a piece of paper, so I'm going to bring it back and see what it does. Okay, what I have here is the actual photocopy that I made of this ID card, so it's showing you the fingerprint over here. Now over here, what we have is, I'm just demonstrating the possibility that fingerprints can be easily copied. You can put a fingerprint on a photocopy machine and copy it anybody's finger. So this example is showing you that we can uh, reproduce as many fake fingers, fake fingerprints as possible, as, as many as we want. Now over here we have actually it's OHP film, very uh, easy to get at the local copy place and you can actually put the fingerprint film on top of this and uh, produce another image. So here is just basically a photocopy image showing you many, it's showing you one and here we got a single film image. Okay, what we showed you before was one of the easier methods to uh, reproduce a fingerprint from paper, but now this other method is uh, using silicone. It's a little bit more complicated, but it can be done. What we have here is just standard candle wax. And when the wax is hot, we just made an imprint of the finger. So you can see the texture of the fingerprint lines, the grooves inside there. Now this method may be a little bit more realistic to our uh, actual finger because it has the actual texture of a finger. So what we're going to do is, from this mold, this candle wax mold, we're going to put some silicone on it and produce a fingerprint. See how easy that was? Now we'll wait till it dries and we'll show you the result. Okay, here's our result from the silicon imprint of the finger that we made before. If you look closely, you can see the texture is similar to a finger. Now, that's just another method of easily reproducing a fingerprint. Again, we have the film, rubber can be used, imprint of the finger, and rubber can be used to make a copy of the finger. And a very simple method of photocopying a fingerprint. Now what I'm going to show you is just a review of the different materials that you can easily uh, make finger, fake finger from. Again, we got paper, Different type of paper, this is just um, <clears throat> glossy type paper, easily reproduced. And we got the film I showed you before, and the rubber, similar to an actual finger, because it has the actual contours, the texture of a finger, and different types of rubber, and the silicon. Now these days, finger <coughs> fingerprints can be easily reproduced, um, as I just showed you, and a lot of fingerprints uh, are used in government facilities, in airports, banking machines, and now those type of systems are for high security. And what we're showing you here, how easy it is to fake those areas, to get into those areas.